Hello again. Good day. Good morning. Uh, we are Exergetica, uh, Javier Guevara, and me, Gustavo Restrepo. Uh, during that presentation, we will talk about mathematical and computational thinking apply, uh, applications in engineering. Uh, we will show you uh, some uh, success cases from oil and gas industry, energy efficiency, and chemical industries of application of computational thinking solutions or methods in order to solve engineering problems. And uh, we will talk about exergetic, exergetica, the idea behind uh, our startup company and our uh, value proposal. Who we are? Uh, we both are chemical engineers. Uh, with uh, more than 10 uh, years of experience working as process and project engineers for uh, Latin American engineering companies in the sectors and uh, in the industries mainly of um, oil and gas, power, energy efficiency, and chemicals. <clears throat> we have a large experience in uh, process simulation, dynamic simulation, uh, modeling, uh, equipment sizing, anal analysis of equipment uh, operation, uh, hydraulics, heat transfer, uh, energy efficiency, um, and also in implementation of uh, uh, deep artificial neural networks and also data engineering. Exergetica is a Colombian company start a company founded in 2017 um, with the idea to uh, offer knowledge based solution to Latin America companies uh, and production companies uh, related with uh, uh, oil and gas uh, chemicals and power. <laughs> Uh, our uh, idea is to offer uh, solutions for process analysis and system modelings, and um, we decided, as we decided to uh, use uh, uh, all from mathematics and system modeler as uh, main instruments for our developments and services, we have got from uh, all from research uh, support since we started to work Sergetica. Um, so what is the idea behind the concept of exergetica? Um, uh, in our uh, experience of uh, in engineering companies working as project engineers, uh, we found uh, that in uh, some common inefficiencies uh, that are common to all the companies we knew, uh, and they are associated with the lack of automatization processes that leads to um, inconsistencies, mistakes, rework, and uh, we will talk about uh, more detail about it later. And uh, in order to, to, to fix that the inefficiencies, we started to talk, what is the best way to solve, to fix it? Uh, we found that uh, we considered that the best way is implementing computational thinking, thinking to improve these uh, engineering activities uh, and procedures. Uh, we have to take into account that uh, in spite of that, we are now using modern simulation programs, uh, the same procedures and activities of delivering documents and um, results simulations have not changed um, in the last uh, 40 years or 20 years. And uh, there is a lot of um, activities that could be automated, but uh, for, at least in the Latin American reality, as uh, still being performed as it uh, was done 40 years before. <clears throat> um, on the other hand, uh, in our studies, we met Mathematica and Wolfram language, and we know the features and characteristics that um, make possible to implement computational thinking successfully uh, in order to improve that in engineering practices to improve the engineering methodologies and perform the calculations efficiently and accurately. And finally, uh, but not less important, is the fact that we do love uh, simulation and modeling, and that is the um, fact that motivates us to create Exergetica with the idea of implementing computational thinking in engineering. Uh, after we created our company, we started 
to think about how to develop uh, the blocks so what will be the areas of uh, the market areas to our developments and services. And so we stated um, uh, our four primary hypotheses that uh, guide us uh, in our developments. So let's talk about that engineering inefficiencies that we found in our practice as project engineers. Um, mainly is the fact that the information is dispersed in various sources, formats, media, and also that engineers have to work or are being working, or are working now uh, in different interfaces with different programs. They have to switch with, among them, between them, and that leads the to a big possibility to um, inconsistence, appearing appearance of inconsistence, mistakes, and uh, more serially more serially designed mistakes and reworks. Um, this um, with the consequence of uh, um, more time uh, to execute projects and increases cost. Um, <clears throat> Also, we found that the engineers use multiple versions of template uh, instruments calculations, as these instruments uh, usually are uh, designed in, in, in calculation sheets, commercial calculation sheets, and this lead that engineers can modify them. Uh, and in one only engineering, engineering company, um, engineers can uh, give different results uh, for the same problem, but it's an, an, an acceptable for an engineering company. It's a big quality problem. And uh, other problem is that there is a limited capacity of data analysis that makes possible to convert raw data into useful information. Uh, and all this is associated with the lack of automatization of engineering processes. So uh, when we uh, started to think how to solve these problems, we uh, understood that the best way is to implement uh, computational thinking uh, methodologies and solutions that uh, are characterized, are being, that characterize for uh, in that they are uh, offer faster results, more accurate, reliable, replicable, and efficient. Um, uh, computational thinking solutions offer to the engineer practice uh, enhances possibilities from calculations. That is analysis data, diagnosis, prognostics, um, and also visualization interactivity and the possibility of real-time simulations that uh, what is not possibly using the standard uh, methodologies and instruments. Also, um, computational thinking solution gives uh, broad capabilities to implement new computation technologies uh, for the solution of problems of, com of increasing complexity. Uh, finally, all this will be reflected in an increase in profits and effectiveness of the engineering companies that will uh, work with us uh, in implementation of computational thinking in their processes. So why we decide to use Mathematica? Uh, as we knew the features, the main features of Mathematica and Wolfram language, uh, that is functional programming, the um, Nodus format, that is very interesting for our uh, idea of improving uh, engineering procedures, interactivity, flexibility, and the support of Wolfram Research. But do you, you can find it uh, using open code uh, applications. We stated the following premise. Uh, engineers most focus in uh, proposing, develop uh, the correct mathematical models based on the engineering knowledge. Uh, and the, that engineers must to solve uh, that models using the correct instrument, that is, well, from language uh, that uh, will make the part of the mathematical part. So we consider that engineer must to solve engineering problems, and mathematical problems must be solved with the correct instrument. For us, it is a mathematical and system modeler.
So taking into account this, those uh, factors, uh, we established, uh, stated this um, primary hypothesis that um, we are being uh, proving as we are uh, progressing in our development processes. Um, the first of that hypothesis is that mathematical notebooks are a useful tool to increase productivity of engineering project execution. That is, we want to offer an unified interface to perform calculation and to um, redact uh, reports. Uh, and this is based on the idea of an intelligent reports based on uh, mathematical notebooks. Uh, the second uh, hypothesis is that using mathematical and system modelers, we can develop um, not only customized uh, application, but also uh, applications of general use oriented to the particularities of Latin America market uh, and taking into account in our, our experience as, as engineers, we know what parameters uh, are needed to, to, to take into account in design and uh, process analysis. And that's what we have been done with uh, develop and developing our products. Um, third, uh, work from language means the possibility uh, to successfully introduce and implement industry 4.0 solutions in Latin America market. Uh, that is growing, um, that solution, the kind of uh, uh, industry 4.0 solutions uh, has, are not developed as in other countries in Latin America. So we have the possibility to, to enter in that market and make interesting developments there here. Uh, finally, the, our forward hypothesis is that uh, small and medium companies and engineering companies have limited resources um, personal and time for uh, research and development activities. This is an opportunity for us to offer uh, knowledge-based solution to that companies. <clears throat> so in the second part of our presentation, Javier will uh, explain you how we have um, started to, to prove that hypothesis and uh, how uh, and the state uh, the current state of our uh, development. Javier? Okay, we, we can start with the first hypothesis progress. Uh, the first hypothesis says a mathematical notebook are a useful tool to increase productivity and of engineering project execution. So as Gustavo said, we uh, found that some problems we have in the engineering companies is that the engineers had to write the text on the documentation of the project in, in one tool and have to make the calculations in another tool. So we propose an unified environment using Mathematica to perform both the reduction and the calculations. That provides an interactive and flexible interface. So we are presenting now four of the uh, success cases we have for this hypothesis. The first one is the, the during time calculation for a water pipeline. So you can see here a, a schematic of the system with all the bulbs uh, in the different locations. And we develop a differential equation uh, a problem to estimate how this uh, pipeline will drain. So in the next graphic, you will see the water um, flow versus time. This is some of the applications you um, have with Mathematica, and the, there are more interactive and flexible than the current uh, developments they have. The second example is the crude oil uh, temperature. Uh, we have some problems with he heavy crude oil in Latin America. So we develop a, a problem with the, using the Bernoulli equation. Uh, this is a diagram for the process. And we estimate that when you uh, heat up the, that heavy crude oil, you uh, reduce the cost of this, of, um, this um, pumping uh, operations. So you can monitor using the next example, we use the manipulate and we can see how the uh, cost will be depending on the temperature that affects viscosity, flow, and eventually the cost. The next uh, example. Here. Yeah, Gustavo. Uh, here in that uh, graphic, uh, the blue line indicates the cost associated 
the, with electrical energy consumption that is uh, pumping energy. And the red line indicates the cost associated with uh, consumption of thermal energy, that is the heating uh, energy. And we see how, as we increase the temperature, the, um, the pumping cost uh, decrease as the, um, the thermal energy increases, uh, cost decreases, but we find that there is a minimum indicating that there is an optimal solution. Okay, the, the next example is the simulation of a discharge line of an ammonia vessel. We have some um, liquid ammonia pumping from the pressure vessel to the uh, atmospheric um, storage tank. And uh, the objective of this model is to minimize the evaporation of the ammonia. So we develop uh, another tool using manipulate and you can see the parameters of the process and you can change the, the parameters, uh, just like the another example, and you can have pressures, um, flows, temperatures from this system. The idea here was to give the operator, the plant operator, uh, an instrument in order to check the steam for the vapor formation from liquid ammonia in order to minimize uh, the vapor generation through this uh, temporary line. Okay, finally, we can uh, show you this uh, example of a full document of the engineering. So you can uh, specify objectives, uh, scopes, uh, all the theory you have and the analysis of the results combined with the inputs and equations in Mathematica. So the advantage of this solution is you can specify one input in only one uh, um, line of the Please. project. And uh, if this value change over the time of the project, you only change in one place. And this automatically uh, um, update all the calculations. You can have drawings, uh, graphics to show the, the behavior. You can put a, even uh, um, manipulates and uh, interactive uh, tools to prove that uh, how the system will uh, behave under those uh, circumstances. And we have some drawings of the project too. So you can combine all the information around the project in one simple and unified uh, application. It's and finally, you can show the results of the project also in Mathematica. It's important to, to, to have the possibility to manipulate the, the, the calculations uh, in order to show the, the clients uh, the the, the reason of the design uh, decision taken by the design equipment, the, the design team. Okay, let's see the, the second hypothesis. Latin American companies are expending significant amount of money on the acquisition of specialized software that are not fully exploited. So uh, there are some uh, specific uh, specialized software that we use in the uh, development of the engineering, but you are not using it fully and it's a um, significant cost in the project. So we present you Hydroset. Hydroset is our first library in system modeler. You can see here uh, the library with different blocks and you can combine it like you see in the right image and you can build anything in the, in the process you need to evaluate the hydraulic networks. There's an example of the, that hydraulic networks. So you can combine pipes, accessories, bolts, and even the, all the elements in the control loop. So you can provide a efficiency solution more uh, affordable for the companies. And you have all the experience we collect in our experience in process engineering and develop this to help you to reduce times, reduce costs and provide more uh, reliable results from this model. The second um, tool we have to present you is Concept. Concept is an application based in Mathematica and you can use it to uh, equipment sizing and capital and operative cost estimation. 
this example, uh, this is a window from our development. Uh, all the visual visualization was developed in Mathematica 2. In the first tab, you can uh, specify all the process data. You can type the values of the process variables, and you have a simple menu to select number of um, the units you have and the type of the equipment. Uh, currently, we have developed this uh, tool for pumps, but we are uh, including more process equipments. The third uh, hypothesis is uh, the world from language brings the um, possibility to successfully introduce and implement industry 0.40 solutions in Latin American market. And uh, so Gustavo are explaining us how meta models of complex systems will help us to, to this. Uh, yes, uh, in the example we demonstrated that it is possible to build, to get meta models of complex, more complex models of simulations, dynamic simulations, uh, implementing or using training deep neural networks. Uh, so um, as we get data for, from another simulator, we re reduce the order of that simulation uh, and get a simplified meta model uh, that is uh, linear and correspond to the structure of the uh, deep neural network designed for that purpose. Uh, the results of time were um, good, and we have to say that uh, it uh, results, it is easier than make a regression of all the factors as we can train uh, all the parameters that lead, you, lead us to, to predict the values of all the needed results. <laughs> Okay, another, um, another uh, application we use in this hypothesis is to uh, make process and data analysis for the industry. So we can analyze, analyze the behavior, find relationship between variables, show relevant information, and uh, build the model KPIs or key process indexes. So in this example, we see a, a large amount of gaze consumption data uh, this is a gas, nat a natural gas uh, distribution system in Colombia. And we use the information about a week of consumptions of different industries for two different systems. And we found that all the peaks of consumption are not simultaneously. So we can uh, specify the uh, maximum capacity of all systems uh, doing a, a data analysis of those consumptions. So some of the peaks are combined and some are dumped. And this example was made for two different systems. You see the graphics over there. Finally, we can see the four um, hypotheses. So the small and medium companies and engineering companies have limited results for research and development. So uh, Exergetica has two uh, main uh, partners in Colombia. Uh, one is Novatech. Novatech is an Asian uh, consulting company. We develop uh, with them an incident data analysis for KPAs construction. So you can see how um, you can combine the information from the incidents with the uh, personal information of the, of the person, the, uh, in, uh, the inlet and outlet of the of different processes and how we can measure that in one simple uh, tool in Mathematica. Uh, uh, Serintech is another company, it's an oil and gas engineering company, and we developed with them a tool for evaluate different uh, alternatives to improve the operation performance in the crude oil treatment facilities. Now, why Exergetica? Exergetica provides solutions with uh, using two principal uh, concepts, computational thinking and digital transformation. So we think that is very important for Latin American market right now. We have expertise in modeling and simulation, different equipments, process, dynamic systems, control loops, and using neural networks and, and big data, as you see in this presentation. The experience in execution of uh, engineering projects, uh, both have uh, experience in oil and gas and chemical, power plants, distribution and transmission systems, energy efficiency assessments. Um, and last but not least, we have the support of uh, Wolfram Research to develop a small and medium projects in Latin America market. And finally, uh, we can um, talk about the problems we have in the current uh, industry in Latin America. 
these problems can be solved using uh, computational thinking. Uh, uh, mathematics is a tool that help us to uh, solve traditional problems, but with different approach and allow us to uh, bring the digital transformation to our industries as engineers and educators. And finally, we think that engineering knowledge combined with computational thinking give us our competitive advantage from other companies. And Exergetica, uh, in addition to Wolfram research, can provide effective solutions for engineering. So thank you for your time. Uh, do you have any questions or comments? Okay, meanwhile, we can see the, the last the slide. So this is our contact information, uh, Gustavo Restrepo and Javier Guevara. You can visit our website, uh, exergetica.com. And we have a blog um, when we talk about the different um, aspects we see in our Latin America uh, market and our developments in the industry. So feel, for, feel free to contact us on or uh, social media or directly on our uh, emails. Okay. There are questions on mm. Yeah. Okay. I didn't see the questions. I see them on there. Would you like me to read them to you guys? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so Mads has yeah. asked, how hard was it to train users to use Wolfram language? Do you need to provide any training for them? Okay. Um, <clears throat> for the moment, we have uh, only we are used uh, Wolfram uh, language and we have offered uh, the results or the analysis to our clients. They directly for the moment have not uh, used uh, Wolfram directly, uh, but uh, they made the, they get the results uh, through us. But uh, we use in uh, mathematics and education and the feedback uh, I got that time is that uh, uh, students feel that um, it is uh, easy to, to learn language. Uh, I remember a uh, uh, student that said me that uh, she considers before that uh, programmation is not for her, but when she met uh, a started to use Mathematica, she understood that um, that it is, uh, she has the capabilities of programming. Uh, the difference is the language uh, she was using before and the flexibility of Wolfram uh, language. I have to say that the, the learning uh, curve is, uh, is, is, is a speed. It's, 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 uh, the users will uh, um, uh, relatively fast, fast can uh, start to uh, use correctly the Wolfram language functions. Uh, a couple more from Mads. Uh, what do you share with users? Wolfram language codes or only visuals such as manipulate? Okay, I, I will say it depends. Some, some of our uh, developments are uh, planned to be online so you can have a, a subscription or th this is an, a work in progress right now. But um, in the project we are developed, we uh, combine the, 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 um, all the inputs and equations in, in Mathematica and enter and we develop the, the notebook. And this is the final product, the notebook with all the texts and all the equations. And the manipulates are immersed in that code. So the, the, um, the client is not, pro, uh, um, is not um, interactive with the, with the code itself, but with the solution. But we have some clients that are uh, very uh, enthusiastic about the, the Wolfram languages, and we are trying to make some um, arrangements to they have a proper license, and maybe they can have some training for using that uh, capabilities of um, of word from languages. And uh, uh, yeah, Gustavo. Uh, for these last uh, users, uh, Javier mentioned 
that that who wants to directly directly use the Wolfram uh, Mathematica, uh, we consider the possibility to um, to develop uh, templates of uh, calculation reports in order that they will perform the calculations using the, the notebooks. For that kind of uh, users, we have to, 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 to teach, to use the, the tool, the, the language, but we have experience teaching uh, uh, Wolfram language in universities in Colombia, uh, not only to students, but also to professors of the universities who acquired the software. And one last one from Mads. Can we see the projects or some sample notebooks for oil projects, at least some notebooks not containing confidential information? Um, yes, yeah, through our uh, website, we are going to, 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 to update our website in order to show uh, these successful, success cases we show today. Um, and as we uh, this year started to, to execute uh, consulting projects, we have more material to show. Yeah, I, I want to add something. We, we work in, in partnership with Wolfram, so we uh, have developed some uh, webinars as well. So we can show you more uh, detailed information about our developments. And as Gustavo says, we, we will uh, uh, I'll upload some of the examples in our web page in the, in the next few months. And finally, just from Mads and Roy, great job, guys. Great work.